Hi, it's Shannon. Hey, it's Becca. Hi, it's Jess. And today we will be reacting to TikTok hacks. So today's episode focuses on hot chocolate hacks. How do you guys feel about hot chocolate? I love a hot chocolate. I think it's key to the season. Agreed. I just had some hot chocolate this morning. Maybe it was too early, but I, I'm a good sucker for hot chocolate. It's never too early for hot chocolate. Ooh, this looks just like the Christmas version of the Dalgona coffee that went viral a couple months ago. Same. Oh, that looks so good. What do you just put in milk? Is that milk? Yeah, that's milk. I'm heavily here for this, but my one bummer was that when she mixed it into the milk, it wasn't foamy anymore. And I feel like that texture is so good. And then to just lose it, why not just make hot chocolate? I also think that it's so diluted. What What's happening it, here is that instead of um, the reaction that you get from mixing instant coffee and sugar, she's just at, or they, sorry, are adding heavy cream, which whips like, it turns into whipped cream. So you're making a hot chocolate whipped cream. So what you're saying is basically it's hot chocolate flavored whipped cream that right. you then put into milk and then mix around. It's gonna be like, I don't know, like chocolate tinged milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah that sounds <laughs> that's exactly disappointing. Maybe if you put it on top of regular whipped, or regular hot chocolate, that would be, yeah, chef's kiss. That's right a good there. idea. Yeah, I love making the whipped Dalgona coffee for my sister, so I definitely want to give this one a try. So I'm very excited to try this hack. I do think it's going to work out, but I do worry that the whipped part is just going to immediately sink into the hot milk. But I feel like a big part of the whipped beverage hype is the aesthetic part and like being able to see the whipped portion. But either way, I'm excited to try this and to taste it. So let's just get into it. So the TikTok says to add one packet of hot chocolate mix and four tablespoons of heavy cream or a quarter cup of heavy cream. And to basically mix them together until it's whipped, you can use a whisk or an electric mix, but I'm gonna use a whisk. I ended up having to use the electric mix because the whisk wasn't really making it fluffy enough. I still feel like it's not fluffy enough, but it's been 20 minutes, so I am going to go with this. So we have our whipped hot chocolate, and I'm going to pour some hot milk into this mug, just like the TikTok says. Came out, it's just kind of... <laughs> it's kind of like chocolate syrup. That might be user error, but this is what I came up with. actually really good um, but I do think that I could make this in some other way I don't think I had to spend 20 minutes trying to make like frothy a frothy chocolate whipped topping I felt like no I feel like with the coffee Dalgona there's like a different science to it so you can definitely get like that nice and airy topping but with the hot chocolate I don't know what it is but I whisked for 20 minutes. I even used an electric mixer and it just came out goopy and it basically turned into chocolate syrup. Not worth it. I'm stressed. Yes, we that stand. looks so good. I want to just eat like every, all of these chocolate things. I'm just like, can I just eat it plain? Ooh. Like, give it to me. I would recommend not putting things in your ice maker that aren't water. <laughs> good point. Uh, Fair point. I don't like this. I think that this is like almost a take on when people put ice coffee or coffee into ice cube trays and then they put it into their coffee, like their iced coffee to prevent their iced coffee from getting diluted from water ice cubes. Maybe put it in an ice cube tray instead of messing up your entire kitchen appliance. Yeah, I think that's way smarter than like trying to ruin your ice maker machine. I think there's something really uh, necessary about burning your tongue on some hot chocolate, like first of the season. Okay, it's a rite of like, passage once a month, yeah. once a year. Mm. Ooh, so what cute. Is this is a lot of work oh. already. A lot, yeah. <laughs> but doesn't this also kind of remind you of a Wonder Ball? Do you remember Wonder Balls where it's like, yes. you buy it and then they were banned in the US because kids were choking on toys and stuff. You can't choke on hot, you can, you can choke on hot chocolate. Oh, how much time does this lady have right now? I mean, I guess we all have this time. 
they look like they'd make a really cute gift because like you guys said, it takes a lot of time and effort and it's so pretty. So I feel like to receive one would be nice. I mean, they're so cute. I've never seen this before. I actually deleted my TikTok <laughs> and it's been <laughs> off for a while. So uh, maybe this is something that I've missed. I've seen these everywhere. And at first, when I first saw them, I thought they were like something you could eat. I didn't realize that you put them in the hot, hot milk or hot <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> so <laughs> They're so pretty. How have I missed these, Shannon? They're like all over Instagram, guys. Like all of the local bakeries are making them. And oh, they are? Wow, yes. I stand a local those. I'm gonna try the TikTok hack where uh, people make hot chocolate bombs and see if it actually works, which looks really fun. I'm not skeptical. I think it's gonna work, but we'll see. We have these cool silicone molds, which should theoretically make it really easy for the chocolate to pop out. We have some milk chocolate to make the spheres. And then I have a bunch of stuff to fill it with and decorate. So I'm gonna put this milk chocolate in the microwave for 30 second increments to see, just to make sure it doesn't burn. Chocolate is really easily burned, especially the lighter kinds because there's more sugar. Okay, here is our melty, melty chocolate. I'm gonna use this little baby spatula that we have and brush some melted chocolate into this mold. Take them to the fridge. These are the molds that I filled with chocolate. They set in about 30 minutes, so. Oh God, I think they look pretty great. I am nervous about popping them out, but I'm gonna pop them out onto the cold tray that I had in the fridge and then keep them cold until I'm ready to make my um, my little hot chocolate bombs. Just to go over what I'm gonna put inside the bombs, um, I have some hot hot cocoa mix. We have these <laughs> fun crunchies. Marshmallows, of course, necessary for a hot chocolate. And then sprinkles, we have some fun colorful ones. Depending on the holiday, depending on the time of year, you can color coordinate. I love a color coordination. So I'm gonna turn these out. I'm very nervous about it. Ah! That's so fun. Don't hold them for too long or they're gonna melt in your hands. I have experienced it. So what you wanna do is apparently melt this end without melting the whole thing. And then add your hot cocoa powder and whatever mix-ins. God, my hands are <laughs> melting this piece of chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> I've put holes in the chocolate. Okay, I'll just carry on. and then stick them together like that. Oh no, that's my result for the, the first one. It looks adorable, but it is melting in my hands. Okay, I'm thinking I maybe have really warm hands. So I'm gonna try again and not touch them too much. And you get a sort of sphere. Sure. Many hours later, I have made my bombs and decorated them with a white chocolate drizzle. It's an awful lot of work. They are melting in front of me. This is the one that I picked. I'm gonna add it to my mug and now I'm gonna add my milk. And then I'm gonna give it a stir and see what happens. Ooh, that's fun. Look at the marshmallows. I actually had no idea what was inside them, so I thought that that was fun for me. I think that these are really fun. Um, I think there are ways to your time that they're really fun. They definitely work though. 
Okay guys, how did the hot chocolate hacks go? Great question, Jess. Mine, <laughs> mine worked-ish. Um, I can show you guys if you wanna see. Yes, yeah, I need these to. Are, these are my ugly beautiful. ducklings. Wow, Thank they look you. pretty good. They have it's holes It's like a hot them. chocolate UFO. I love it. <laughs> yeah, these, I drank the ones that were really pretty and I'm saving these for a rainy day. The problem that I had was that they kept, as it's happening now, melting in my hands. And I think that the one thing that would save that is tempering the chocolate, which is a long process. I feel like that probably took a lot of time. It sure did, yeah. three and a half hours. <laughs> Ooh, which they don't oh tell God. you on TikTok. Okay, Shannon, how did your whipped hot chocolate go? The hot chocolate tasted really good, but something happened and it didn't whip up the way it did in the TikTok. And I think it might have something to do with the powder to cream ratio, maybe something was off. It took me 20 minutes to whip the oh hot gosh. chocolate and it still didn't whip up, so that was really annoying. You literally worked up a sweat before drinking your hot Li chocolate. Yes, you could see the sweat on my forehead in the video. So. <laughs> I think that's the thing with TikTok. They make it seem like you can make something in just 20 seconds, but they didn't specify how much powder, so we just kind of assumed one packet would be enough. So I think that's where it went wrong. If any of you tried these hot chocolate hacks, leave a comment down below and let us know how it went.